High streets throughout the UK have faced a -a once-in-a-lifetime financial shock and legislation to protect it from the worst is coming to an end. The scheme that stopped businesses being evicted from rent arrears ends on March 25th. Many businesses were closed, they were racking up significant debt, it was very difficult for them to pay rent. Uh, It's crucially important now that this scheme is coming to an end that they're talking, working out a deal uh, and primarily which enables both to move forward because we forget that landlords are business owners themselves and they need to be able to viably run their business. Likewise for many retailers, they need to make sure that they can get a deal on a rent that helps them move forward. So it's about both sides talking to each other. The problems for business don't stop there and the road ahead is not without its challenges. Well, it's going to be a very tough year for many of those businesses because, let's not forget, we will be paying uh, rates again uh, later on this year. You know, that will mean some businesses will not have paid rates for over two and a half years. Um, You have other cost issues coming down the pipeline, national insurance increases, national living wage ongoing challenges with energy costs and of course the problem with inflation. So there's almost a perfect storm of cost issues that are going to be facing businesses this year. The cost of the pandemic is now only becoming clear. For city and shopping centres where the footfall is much greater, things can be sorted out much quicker. For regional towns such as this, it may take a lot longer. To avoid further legal costs and doubling up on administration, two of the devolved governments have taken an innovative approach. Well, as I understand it, in England they're uh, legislating for mandatory arbitration, whereas Northern Ireland and Scotland have decided not to go down that route. They're leaving it to businesses to decide if they want to go to arbitration or not in the uh, case of any disputes. And it seems to us, certainly in Northern Ireland, that seems to be a good solution. Particularly here, we find that actually there there aren't very many large landlords. Most of the landlords here are actually small businesses themselves, quite often with large businesses as their clients. So actually, I think that the the route we're going down is probably quite a sensible way of making sure we've got good, reasonable discussions going on between landlord and tenant.